So hello guys, welcome back and Suji here as usual. I to be honest, I don't even know how to properly start this because well it's been a while since my last episode, I must admit, and there was a specific reason behind it. Obviously, uh, my PC around a week ago actually died, I guess, or whatever, but uh, so I had to get it fixed, uh, so obviously I did that, but it took around 4 days until I got my PC back, and after I got it back, my mic was broken, so I couldn't record either, and it was weekend, and during weekends, the shops, which sell obviously microphones and stuff, where I live did not work, so I had to wait in this until Monday, as of now, when I'm recording to buy a new mic, so I am able to record, but yeah, anyways, um... Uh, on those days, actually, I did not play my Iron Man at all. I guess I took a break, which was really nice, I guess I could say as well, because you need a break from time to time. But what I was able to do, actually, because I had an old laptop, it was a really bad laptop, though, and I couldn't even try to play on Iron Man because I would just, you know, get kicked to lobby every 10 seconds or whatever. But I still managed to do some old school progress, I guess you'll see that in my next episode whenever I upload it, but yeah, other than that, after uh, I got my PC back, I did do some progress on Iron Man because obviously I was able to record, but I wasn't able, you know, to talk, so I just played off camera, I guess, for a while. Uh, I had a few clips, obviously, before my PC broke, so... I don't want to spoil what I got in the days without recording because I still want you guys to see those clips. But yeah, I guess I will leave you with those clips, you guys, right now. And after that, I I will record again and I guess we'll see what I got off camera. Oh, nice. There we go. I guess the mini quest is completed. Now I will go ahead and attempt to go and sail to the Ark itself right now. Well, this is one thing that we will certainly be unlocking the Hunter outfit. It's totally worth it. So I guess the loads lo there is loads of stuff, loads of stuff that I need to unlock from here. And since the Arc Batch one, I guess there's way many more of, uh, things in the shops. But anyways, I guess I will try and go ahead and set myself an uncharted idol. So let's go ahead and knock that out. So I am trying to do the mini quest that require you need to do if you want to actually be able to get the flag, I guess, to uh, flag your uncharted island. And look at this. This is my third small island that uh, I did, you know, while trying to get the driftwood for the mini quest. And look at this. We just found the thing that I want to flag in my island. And yeah, this is pretty darn awesome. And there we go guys, the first mini quest of the islands is completed, I guess, five ch 500 chimes to Taiji to and my own free flag. So now I guess I will go ahead and try to get one big uncharted isle and put my flag in it. So I will go and claim it and I guess I'll show you guys how does it look. Honestly, boys, I guess this is it. We just hit a jackpot. As you can see, one, two... Free fucking divination spots. This does just not. This just can't get any better. Honestly, there are also two mining spots, and there's the third one. But like, I am not high. I honestly, I the only activity that I can do in the Uncharted Isles is the uh, divination one. So this free divination spot just is absolutely ridiculous for me. It didn't take me too many times. I guess I think this is my fourth uh, big. Like a large uncharted isle attempt so yeah this is insane i will go ahead and flag this island and i guess yeah i have a daily divination gains um, activity to do and there we go boys after pretty much most of the day spent doing this activity trying to get a decent island to flag now we go for 97 divination a really decent level which obviously means as well that I am only two levels away from my first 99 exciting stuff, so I need only 2.4 uh, million XP to go, and you know, the first skill keep will be ours. Anyways, now I'm off to do cash, and after that I will finish, I guess, harvesting these remaining wisps on my chartered island, so I'm ready to do it tomorrow again, and after that, I don't know, I'm not sure what I will do after that, so anyways, I will be back. 
And some more progress guys, back to questing, I guess I could say that we go for the regicide quest and um, it's kind of easy I guess to say why I did this quest and where I am going with this because well this is one of the requirements for the plagues and which is obviously the quest for Elf City because I was talking about it so you know much in all my episodes so yeah um, since I completed the branches of Dark Mayor I really liked the way I you know, played my Iron Man by having a gold and working for it, and so I decided I would go ahead and, uh, you know, make myself a new goal. So yes, guys, that is the new goal. El City is the new goal. So uh, I actually have a note that where I noted down all my requirements, and I don't really need that much. I only need to get 75 agility, which is really easy. 75 herblor. Uh, 75 mining, 75 raged, and 75 summoning, and like four or five quests, which won't take me long at all. So yeah, anyways, I just thought I would give you guys an update that next that that Prithidinus is the next big goal of mine. But yeah, anyways, without uh, any further ado, I guess I will go and knock out another quest from the list. There we go, boys. Another, boys. Another one is completed rowing elf this time. A really, really quick quest, actually. But yeah, there we go for that tanky strength XP. And I obviously did take the bow because, well, I don't have a single ranged weapon. And now I have a tier 70 weapon, which I will be able to use after I get 70 range, I guess. But yeah, other than that, time to complete the most 8 quest ever, which is Sheep Herder. And there we go guys, Sheep Herder is completed, 4 quest points, 3.1 kgp. I said the most AIDS quest in history of RuneScape, but although it only took me like 12 minutes, but still though one of the four fucking sheeps got stuck behind uh, the end of the gate. Um, I mean, if you guys did uh, have the same problem, you guys know what I'm talking about, but that part is really annoying, so I had to go ahead and, you know, another sheep from start till there but yeah fucking annoying but anyways next quests in the list actually are morning ends part one and after that obviously morning ends part two so yeah the real fun is about to begin boys and there we go for a random skilling level as well you guys i am just waiting for cash so thought i wouldn't waste my time and do some fire making so i guess there we go and also this level is really nice because well there we go, corpse, corpse, whatever, like these locks in Diamondheim, this will improve my cooking success rate by quite a lot, so I guess when I decided that to do that C2 fishing I was talking earlier in the last episode, I think, so that will be really helpful. And as you guys can see, I am back to doing some Slayer, god I missed this skill, but anyways, if I can actually kin one for your giant, this should be it. Yes, there we go. I guess the first level of me training Slayer back is 73 strength. Uh, I really need to get Herbicide and Seedicide as well as um, now I see because, uh, well, I said I am working on Elf City right now and Herblood is, you know, one of the requirements. So Herbicide will help me out a bit, I think. So, yeah, I need to do that sometime as well. But anyways, I will continue enjoying the Slayer because I missed it so much and... Yeah, hopefully we can con complete that full Slayer Helmet in soon enough because, well, that would be really nice as well. And followed by 73 attack, obviously. Are you fucking kidding me? It didn't even beam as well? Oh my god, focus side number 4. You have got to be freaking kidding me. <laughs> And there we go, also a Slayer level, 81 Slayer, Rorari unlocked, and also uh, two more levels till that 83, which is obviously the Spiritual Mages, and after the drops rework that they received, as well as many other Slayer monsters, these are extremely good GP for Iron Man, we you know specifically in Alking, so yeah, can't wait to knock out those two levels, to be honest. And we go for another one, guys, 83 each, uh, each points, hit points, I mean, this time, but yeah, gotta love this task, how they are not fixing this stuff, it's amazing how broken this task is, you don't get a hit at all, I just love it. Come on, guys, when the fuck will this shit stop? Focus size number 5, this is unreal. 
I mean, I just at the point where I don't know fucking what to say. This is my sixth focus site. Sixth. I mean, second this task. Come on, Jagex. Well, to brighten the mood, I guess, there we go for 91 magic. So, yeah, eight levels. So yeah, um, I guess you guys enjoyed those few clips that I did. So as you guys, as you guys saw in the previous clips, obviously. So I did start doing cash, not cash. I mean arc, and I actually got two outfit hunter outfit pieces already in my bank. That's the main reason why I am doing it right now because. After doing it for a few days, I realized that it's not really worth it to do the divination part on the aisles. But, you know, I might as well do it just to get the outfit of the way. So I am ready when I am ready to train that hunter at the arc, I guess. But yeah, other than that, as you guys can see, a total level jump is quite a quite big total level jump since the last clip. And also I got quite a few levels as well off camera. So let's see them now. I obviously got like a few melee levels, which is attack and strength. Uh... I was 54 range, I think, before, and oh yeah, there we go, daily challenge then as well, but, so yeah, um, one of the requirements for Morning Sun Part 1, obviously, because that is the next uh, quest on my list, was 60 range, so I thought, you know, I would get my setup and start training rage with Slayer, so I got myself a full spine, which I have in bank as well, and started training rage with Slayer, it worked out just fine, and I'm also 70 range, as you guys can see, um, other than that, <clears throat> sorry for that. Other than that, obviously, if you uh, a level or two prayer levels, not sure right now. Magic, few magic levels. We are halfway there to another skill to, to 99. Uh, what else? Oh, as you guys can see, I am 98 divination, which obviously means that we are one level away from our first 99. To about two levels of hunter, two levels of slayer, a hunt, a uh, fletching level, a crafting level. A herb lord agility and few hit point levels obviously what else uh i think i was 77 cooking i'm not sure though i'm sure i got 77 wood cutting and 71 farming and as you guys can see obviously another little jump is summoning i did get that 60 summoning and i used that book i i, I came back to the bird the rod hideout which i after I completed the Branches of Dark Mirror quest, if you guys remember, I destroyed the book because I said I wanted to use it on summoning and it required 60 summoning. So I used that 150k XP and it gave me quite a decent jump in summoning, which is obviously now 65. So yeah, other than that, um, pretty much I just did Slayer because I wanted to get 80, 83 Slayer, which is obviously Spiritual Mages, and I got one task already, and that shit was insane, you guys. Um, it's like 2 mil GP per task, which is insane. Like, I already bought... Uh, yesterday I trained Slayer from literally like 17 GP, and I ended up at 3 mil GP at the end of the day, so that is nice, but... Yeah, I've been talking way too much for this episode, but I guess this is the, you know, I can't help myself when that happens, you know. So anyways, I guess I will leave you with the rest of the episode. And just for because, you know, I had to talk so much for it, I will make this episode a bit longer. So anyways, I will leave you guys with the rest of the episode. And yeah. And the skill should do it. Obviously, yes, there we go. 70 range is achieved you guys so as you guys uh, can see i have avnc's task and i actually went to do it previously and i completely forgot that you need 70 range to enter the armadillo godward so yeah i thought uh, i would go ahead and complete it you know uh, quickly add spiritual mages while making some extra gp at the same time as well so anyways yeah there we go for that 70 range i guess now i think i will go and do this AVNC task and then I think it's time to go back to questing because well morning ends part one awaits for completion oh and I completely forgot as well now I can upgrade my weapon I guess because I have crystal bow in my bank obviously from rowing guild's quest so yeah can't wait to start using that stuff as well are you fucking kidding me right now are you kidding me I am waiting for Elunde to come and start Morning Sun Part 1! Are you kidding me? 
Oh my god, this did not just fucking happen. I cut five logs. I cut five logs. Oh my god. <laughs> this is second uh, skilling pet for those watching on my Iron Man, but this did not just fucking happen. I mean... I have more pets than my main now. This is freaking funny. <laughs> and there we go, guys. Mm. The quest is completed. Morning Sand Part 1 is done. 25k constitution and teaming XP, which is pretty damn nice. But anyways, now I am extremely late for cash. So I will conclude the episode here. Uh, so what we have left right now is Catapult Construction, which is an easy quest. Then it's Morning Sand Part 2, which I will do next, obviously. And then it's only within the light and plates uh, and itself. And after that, you are obviously, you guys, I will need to do the, um, oh, to get the skills for the, to match the requirements for plates. And anyways, but yeah, anyways, uh, I'm kind of glad I decided to make this uh, episode a bit longer because of the woody pet. It was so unexpected, but yeah, anyways, for the next episode, we will try to, you know, complete most of these quests and, you know, push towards uh, getting those skill requirements and finally unlocking that LCT, I guess. But yeah, in the end, thank you guys very much for watching and I hope the wait wasn't too, you know, long or whatever. And I hope you guys watch till the end, I guess. And I hope to see you in the next episode as usual. Peace.